Hello. So, you want to start a hardcore Iron Man? You aspire to someday be like me. Look, I'm going to cut straight to it. You most likely not make it as far as me. I'm kind of insane at the game. I'm not going to lie. But that doesn't mean that you can't try. So, let's go for a walk. Let's talk about how you can start your hardcore Iron Man. You see, RuneScape is a special game. If RuneScape was a girl, it would have the hottest face and the baddest ass. Look, us RuneScapers make fun of the game more than anyone. But trust me, I wouldn't be playing the same game since I was 11 if it was a bad game. I'm certain that RuneScape is the best game ever and Hardcore Iron Man is the best way to play it. So let's say you're now ready to make your Hardcore Iron Man. First off, there's two ways to start a Hardcore Iron Man. You see, there's this guy named Osiris. He's one of the most efficient hardcore Ironmen out there. And he made a guide on how you can make a hardcore Ironman and get it to the end game as fast and efficient as possible. Look, his way is, well, it's, uh, it's efficient, but it will cost you your soul. All respect to Osiris. I'll link his guide down below, but I don't trust anyone that follows his guide. I mean, look at this. It's 1265 lines long and some of these lines are insane, like blackjack until at least 88 thieving. What the fuck you mean 88 thieving? Blackjacking? I hate that place. It's AIDS. That would take me forever. Anyways, sorry. <clears throat> I'm mad. I'm yelling. I digress. <sighs> the best way to play hardcore Ironman is to just figure it out. Okay, if you came here because you really just need to know how to start a hardcore Ironman and you thought I was just going to show you how to start a hardcore Ironman, this is how you do it. You make an account. You do Tutorial Island. You talk to this guy, you become a hardcore Iron Man. Boom, look, now you got a hardcore Iron Man in Lumbridge. That's how you start a hardcore Iron Man. If you really want me to hold your hand some more and you have no ability to think for yourself, I would do these five things that I'm showing on the screen right now. If you do these five things, you'll have a nice rudimentary start for your hardcore Iron Man. And boom, congratulations, you can now be on your way. But it's important to have your own journey. So instead of me telling you exactly when to do what quest and when to train what skill, I want to give you some overarching tips and some goals that you can set along the way that you might find helpful. This way, you can truly start your own hardcore Iron Man. First off, you got to get a good bank teleport. Here's a graphic that shows some progression of what bank teleports you can get. Bank teleports are essential because A, you can bank quickly, and that's important when playing RuneScape, and B, a one-click teleport will save your life at some point while playing your hardcore. And since the goal of a hardcore Iron Man is to not die, a one-click teleport is important. It'll get you out of sticky situations, trust me. Next up, you gotta always make sure that you're typing in public chat. One of the best parts about being a hardcore Iron Man is constantly being able to brag to everyone else that you're better than them. The easiest way to flex is to simply type. Your red helm will show up in the chat and boom, everyone in a close radius knows that you have big balls. I like to run up to groups of people and say things like, wow, I can't believe all of you have died. That's cringe. And then right after I'll teleport away so that they can't call me a basement dweller. This is fun and I definitely recommend doing this. Next, I suggest that you familiarize yourself with the encounters that are considered safe deaths. For example, you know Jad? Did you know that as a hardcore Iron Man, Jad is a safe death? What that means is that if you die, it doesn't count. You don't lose your hardcore Iron Man status. So go in there, go fight him early, go risk it for the biscuit. If you die, who cares? You feel me, dog? There are few things as fun as a low level fire cape on a hardcore Iron Man. So make sure you take advantage of that as you're on your journey. Know where you can really push it, okay? My next advice is, well, it's more just kind of like my PSA that I like to do. For those who are unaware, dragon defenders do not defend against dragons. My last hardcore Iron Man died to an iron dragon because apparently, like I said, dragon defenders do not defend against dragons. I don't know if this naming was intentional or not, but seems like a pretty bad name for something that doesn't defend against dragons. But anyways, some of the best gamers of all time have died to dragons, so be careful. Their fire breath hits extremely hard. Trust me, I would know. If your account dies and you can't get over it, the quickest way to get over a death is to remake. You might find yourself like me. Your account's dead. Your whole life is pointless now. You don't know what to do with yourself and you can't stop crying. Listen, all you gotta do is make a new hardcore Iron Man. You gotta think about it like this. Imagine it's a girl that broke your heart. Buddy, just move on to the next one. You're gonna forget about the last one. 
I promise you, it's super simple. But if you're looking to avoid death, something that's gonna keep you alive is food. Anglerfish and karambawans are gonna be your best friends. Anglerfish let you heal over your max HP and kawam bams allow you to combo eat your food so you can heal something like 40 HP in one tick. It's insane. If you're going to be a Chad and go bossing, just know you're going to have to spend some time getting anglerfish, but it's definitely worth it. Anglers have saved me many times and made certain grinds like Zolra way easier. And that brings me to my next item. You do not have to wait until you get 93 Slayer to go and fight Zolra. For some reason, most hardcore Ironmen wait until they get 93 Slayer before they fight Zolra because at 93 Slayer, you can do the achievement diary that gets you the free daily resurrection at Zolra. I'm going to fill you in on a secret. This is dumb. All that diary does is that if your HP hits zero, it goes back up to 99. So if you DC at Zolra, you're still going to die and you're still going to lose your hardcore Iron Man status. Instead, just be better at the game. Eat anglerfish. Use thralls. Wait until you have a trident. If you do all of those things, I promise you, it's actually gonna be an easy time. And trust me, you wanna get those Zolra uniques. You see this, this pew pew gun, it's insane. I killed Zolra 383 times while going for the uniques and I didn't even have one close call. If I didn't have one close call and I streamed all of it, you'll be fine, trust me. All right, but that leads me to my next tip, okay? Let's say you have no experience fighting bosses like Zolra. I wouldn't just run out there all willy nilly on my hardcore Iron Man. If you're gonna fight a boss for the first time and you don't know what to do, you can practice on beta worlds. Unfortunately, there aren't any beta worlds up right now or I'd show you, but every now and then before Jagex implements an update, they will test the update on a beta world and you can go test it too. It's super sick. You can go fight any boss with any gear. I go on these worlds, replicate my hardcore Iron Man's gear, and then learn the bosses before trying it out on my hardcore. A simple tip that is quite often overlooked is don't let your HP hit zero. Do you know how many hardcore Iron Man would be alive if their HP never hit zero? Literally all of them. Whatever you do, do not let your hit points ever hit zero and boom, you'll be fine. With that being said, we've made it to my last thing that I'd like to talk about. Don't be a pussy. If you made it this far and want to make a hardcore Iron Man, I want to be the first to tell you that your account, your account will die. So make sure you have fun while you're playing it. That's why I brought you all the way over here to the theater of blood. The one thing that I can guarantee you is that you will die, but it's up to you to make sure that you have a valiant death. Nobody wants to die to an iron dragon, but if Verzik kills me because I was trying to get my big old balls licked, well, it was worth it. If this video helped you in any ways, please like it. If it didn't help you, I'm sorry. That is most likely because you are smooth brained and there's nothing I can do for you. I am live playing my hardcore Iron Man almost every single day on Twitch. So I'll have the link below. Consider stopping by, like the video, subscribe. Oh my goodness, no way. Anyways, good luck on your hardcore Iron Man adventures. I wish you the best.